Hello, Swami Gang Gang. Welcome back to my very evil and very chaotic playthrough of Dooge in Baldur's Gate 3. And I swear, every time I have an episode, I'm like, we can't get worse than the last. But then all I have to do is call upon a god, and I can have literal lightning come down and kill you. I... I don't know. The best way I can describe this playthrough so far is that we started on top of a mountain, decided to yodel, causing an avalanche to start, and and we have been falling with an avalanche ever since. We're still falling down at high speeds, causing mass destruction the whole way down. Ooh, honey. Yeah, don't mind if I do. That's mine now. God, I'm so evil. I'm just stealing natural honey from these hard-working bees. Oh my god, I hear the music. We're close, y'all. We're so close. Mithara! I'm coming! Oh god, do I have to throw shit at this guy's face again? Oh. Okay. Apparently I'm too stupid to realize that. Thank you, Lazo. We'll need a cover story. No, we don't. We're fine. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Are you serious right now? Unless you got another reason to be here. Feck sight. Don't waste my fucking time, peasant. Let me through. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. On this guy? I'm not wasting my fucking authority on him. Wait, I already have detect thoughts? Oh, hell yeah, let's go. I'm gonna be using this all game. I'm probing everybody's mind. I don't care. You don't get privacy around me. Oh, I got a negative one on intelligence. Didn't matter. <laughs> Didn't matter. Just scared my self-guidance. We good. It's better not be Minthara's messenger. If the boss finds out I gave him our time, it's me done. So I'm a messenger. I'm here to see Minthara. Oh, right. Beg pardon. Got to give all the visitors the old squinty eye, you know. Uh, go on in and have a drink for me, eh? Well, at least I didn't have to throw literal shit at his face this time. All right, last time I literally went to the top of the goblin camp and, um... The absolute grabbed a hold of my mind and just pinned me down physically. I'm I'm not looking forward to that, so I'm just gonna avoid that area and just go straight into the goblin cave. Oh God! <laughs> Ugh, son of a bitch! I'm a big lizard boy for crying out loud. Hear my voice. No! Obey my command. I don't answer to you. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. Fuck your chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. Shadowheart, help me! Oh, about time, good lord! Shadowheart was like, no, I gotta wait until she's done speaking. Then I can, then I can actually do this. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. Do your thing, dream visitor, do your thing! My power. Oh, shut up! My forces gather. The reckoning draws. Oh my god, I had the biggest headache ever. Alright, Dream Visitor, come to daddy. Ah! Okay, never mind. Stay with Shadowheart, I don't give a shit. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. What do you mean? I know exactly what's going on. We should keep going. Prison being petty as fuck. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Uh-oh. Why does a half-elf carry it? Lazelle called her by her correct race and didn't follow it with a gith-yankee slur. That's progress. 
All right, so um, that power, is that what happens to others when we use the parasite on them? I feel like ours is a bit scaled back when we use it. I'm kind of mad that we don't have the full power over here. Perhaps. But whatever it was, I don't want to experience it again. Well, I got bad news for you, Shadowheart. That was only the beginning. But never mind that. Just, I guess, hold on to it since it shows you and whatnot. But do you actually know what you're holding? I don't know. Not exactly. And it still shows you. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. At any cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you don't know what it is, and you don't know what it does, why do you have it? And why does it choose you? Because it was our mission to retrieve it. Me and the others. <gasps> there were others? I'm the only one who made it. Oh, no. Anyways, just, just move it on, I guess. We don't give two shits about that conversation. Just drop it and move on. <laughs> All right, guys, we're not going to spend too much time at the goblin camp here, but... Just gonna do a few things and we're gonna go right in and speak to Mommy Minthara. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. Oh, it's this motherfucker. Yeah, don't talk to him. Bird away from the merchandise. <gasps> Owl Bear Cub! With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. Don't clap for that, that was ass. The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. What? So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had let you collide. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Boo! Get off the stage! Tap Fluffington is a better bar than you'll ever be! Sing, you little bird. You! Move off! Do what she says. Now! No, I'm gonna stay right here. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick! That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not! I've never seen him in my life. What are you doing? I'm busy here! You act like we're friends or something. Th this is the first interaction I'm having with you in this playthrough, Volo. You are supposed to be in the Druid camp interviewing a bear. Did you do that yet? I don't think so, because I haven't gotten there. And apparently, you are a famous, renowned bard. So yes, I should know who you are and know you by name. That don't mean you get to whisper to me like we're friends or something. I have never seen you physically. This is the first time I'm seeing you in the flesh, Volo. You're lucky I'm not to have Fluffington. I would kick your ass bard style. Again. You lying. To you. Never. Are you really scared of this goblin? What the? Come. Let's continue our ballad. Let's not. <coughs> <coughs> Ew. Uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am. Um, Come on now. Uh, draw Ragslin. Um, Someone go get me a loot. Um, I can do better. Draw Axlin! You broke him! I broke it! Wait! Wait! Draw Axlin! We pray! Not get him off. Come on, pigeon! Back to your cage! Now look what you've done! What did I do? Aren't you the legendary bard over here? Of course, I My name's Gribbo, idiot! Yeah, our name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. Not I'll move out of the way so you can actually push him off this time. <laughs> Shadowheart, are you okay? I think he landed on you. Hold on, before I start chicken chasing, I I, I need to do something real quick. Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. Weaker than pixies, humans. Oh, you got him, so good. Fucker. And who are you? Don't worry about it. Not for pests. No, finish your story. Everyone just barges in here, thinking they rule the world. Ha! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I don't waste my authority on peasants here. Yeah, I don't think I just rule the world. I fucking do. It's a fact. <laughs> You're nothing but dirt beneath my feet. Well, not us. Things are changing. Oh, are they? We got the absolute on our side now. I got ball on my side. You better learn your place. Oh. Go on. Kiss more foot. 
Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your... End him or leave him. But don't you dare grovel to this slug. Marcel cut him right off. She ain't having this. Oh no, what? No. No! Daddy Ball, why? Look at him! He don't wash his feet! He's got an athlete's foot! No! I'm not putting that anywhere near my mouth. I, I can't. I refuse. I can't do it. I must. You kneel before him, eagerly feigning reverence. Here I go. I'm gonna do it. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> but with one quick snatch, you envelop a toe in your foul maw. That trickster! I told you I was gonna do it. The toe itself <laughs> tastes of curd, cave aged. Ew. With thick helpings of rancid gristle. <laughs> you fiend! Uh, I'll teach you some respect! You gotta be kidding me! I just bit your toe off! And you're like, oh, now you're gonna get it! The fuck? <laughs> Is this supposed to happen? Everybody's gathering around for the fight here. I've never- I've never done this. <laughs> I've never bit someone's toe off. Um, Astarian? I guess you go first. It's your turn to bite him. <laughs> you know what, never mind. Never mind. Just- just bite this one. Brawler Tiny. Yeah. I seen no! You never saw a cup- Stop! Stop! You didn't die? Then what the fuck are we fighting for? This fight is pointless! Uh-uh! You're, not, you're disengaging. Y'all are running away from me. Your leader should take notes. I'm doing it, y'all. I'm doing it. We about to have some twins. At least two times! No! Mercy! Mercy is not in my vocabulary. What is that? Bitch! Get the fuck down. I'm gonna take another toe from you. Wait! I, I, I yield! I yield! You're tapping out already? I'm just getting started. Since when has yielding been an option? Got the little rodent. Love the energy, Astarian, but how about he kisses my feet? Eh? Kiss my feet, bitch. You can't bite off my toes. I'm wearing boots. Yes! Yes! This is more like it. This is where you belong. Uh, there! There! Uh, I'll done it. Why are you wiping your mouth, man? Did you just make out with my shoe? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna kill you now. Good. We've had enough party games now, I think. Oh, you're not having fun, Shadowheart? Help! Help me! Don't call for help! Hi, Editing Swami here, and I got some bad news here. I forgot to record this fight here, and I'm quite mad because this took a while for me to get rid of all the goblins here, and um, didn't record a single thing. And the last save that I, I got was me about to enter the goblin camp. So we're just gonna pretend like all this never happened. Sorry I wasted almost 14 minutes of your time here. Um, I'll make it up to y'all, I promise. I, I will. One day, one day I'll get to my drow queen. It's just not gonna be today. Thanks for watching anyway. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Swum me out. Do